Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, drop a comment down below and hit that like button. Really do appreciate all the support that is out there. Today I bring you an in-depth character guide on Freezard. I know I promised in my last in-depth character review that I would be doing uh, Revel and and Snorri next, but I thought that I need to talk about Freezard first before I get to Revel and Snorri, so the Revel and Snorri video will be coming out momentarily. However, let's get into talking about Freezard. Freezard is a Tier 1 character. Let's remember what Tier 1 characters are. Tier 1 characters are characters that can be plugged and played into any team, and they have viability across the board. And they don't need another character or another um, faction or anything to make them good. They're just good all by themselves. And Freezard is certainly one of them. Let's talk about why Freezard is so good. First off, he has base speed. Now, I'm going to talk about the character information. All this information will be linked in the description below at beadragonchampions.info forward slash freezard or beadc.info forward slash freezard. So I will have that on in the video description if you want to see where I got this information from. Now, his base speed is 150. He's a pretty fast character. He's below Ember for speed by 10, Ember being 160. And he's 10 points faster than Nightiel when Nightiel's at 140. His main, his health is 17,669. His shields are 19,967. He doesn't do physical damage, but his physical damage is 1353. His magical damage is the top in the game at the present moment um, at 34, uh, at 3472.16. His physical damage reduction is 2051.16. His magic damage reduction is 1979.97. His critical chance is 18. 86 and his critical damage is the base at 150 his accuracy is 200 or 100 i apologize it is 100 his dodge is two percent his potency is 41 his tenacity is 27 his penetration is two uh 70 uh 750 and his life steal is zero but what makes freezard so good freezard's so good because he's so good everywhere in the game right now he is amazing inside arena he is also amazing inside the raid and we will talk about both of those things first let's get to his first basic ability frozen arrow it deals 230 percent magic damage to an enemy and has a 75 percent chance to inflict slow for two turns all right the slow here is what makes him so good in the raid the slow makes it so hard orc who i usually use him on it slows him down and makes him so he actually you know does, takes less turns and that sort of thing and so that's really 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 good second his frost buff does 220 percent damage to three enemies and has a 50 percent chance to inflict armor decrease for two turns this also inflicts two bosses and makes them so you can do more damage it also hits everybody in the raid you know hard orc and hard orcs minions mar uh and corcoram and so that's really nice as well so you can burn through those ads on that phase his third ability blizzard does 220 percent of magic damage to all enemies all enemies and has a 75 percent chance to decrease their turn meter by 25 percent so another turn meter reduction sort of uh of thing another turn meter i'm so sorry i've been working so much and i've been super tired so please bear with me um through uh the video to a certain extent so that's what we're looking at here is you have 75% chance to decrease their turn meter by 25%. That's huge. It really helps with turn meter um, and it makes everything slow down so you can get even more damage. And his survivor, his passive ability survivor, he freeze our, survives a fatal blow. Any effects active on him are removed um, and freeze our, recovers 25% of his health can be triggered only once per battle and if snorri's on the battlefield he receives the same buffs so that makes a pretty good snorri combination between the two because when you have freezard and snorri together snorri becomes 
he gets that cheat death and recovers 25% of his own health. And that makes Snorri even a better character. Uh, but as you can see, Freezar doesn't need anyone to help him out and just be amazing. So let's talk about how he should be ruined. Now, right now you're seeing my test account. Uh, we have him at gear 11. We have him ruined out. Currently, this is how I have him ruined. Uh, of course, damage, damage and speed in the north, uh, northeastern rune uh, there. Uh, I have armor, which we need. Uh, and I'm looking for secondary stats and potency and secondary stats and speed. We have crit chance here on the bottom. You can go damage here. You can go speed. Uh, you know, damage, you can go trit chance. I decided to go crit chance. Um, of course, damage, speed, those are all really good. Uh, health here, I went with health. I mean, you can go shields um, or health. I don't think that really matters too much, but I think the better way to go is to health because he gets 25% of his health back. And so that's why I chose to go health there with extra health mods as well and some speed and damage. Here in the Northwestern Rune, I go potency. Um, and I believe that on most characters who do debuffs, you really want to have potency in the slot. This number can get to be quite big and you're looking at speed and damage health once again. And then also another uh, damage rune for the North rune here. I did do his critical chance so we can get an extra 8% critical chance because we want him hitting and doing crits and having uh, and having you know a good bit of damage on there didn't really go crit uh, damage there because crit damage is just not as viable as just having straight damage across the board as you can see 43 uh and with the runes and everything he's at 4328 on the damage so as you can see he can do just a massive amount of damage if we take him on into the test account you can see that there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of people currently running the test accounts. They've got a good many. Uh, you see a lot of this team here, Solius, Nightiel, Batty, Breezard, and, uh, and Cruel. So we're going to go ahead and just go into battle, and I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of what he can do. Um, and so we're going to run that exact same team uh, at the moment. Let's see if we can pull them up. Okay, a little baddie and cruel, and then we go and grab Nightiel. I believe this team is meta right now. It's probably one of the best PvP teams out there, uh, but you're going to see as we go in, there's, there's a lot of viability, there's a lot of strength to what Freezard can bring to the team. Uh, and so I think that you'll end up liking the gameplay. Uh, if you saw my last video, um, you saw Freezard just do a massive amount of damage inside the raid and he will do that um so we're gonna go ahead and hit ember here she's gonna do a ton of damage uh so let's go ahead and go after her oh i should have messed up there but that's okay All right. we're gonna have to worry a little bit about what's going on there we'll go ahead and put invisibility on and then we really need to go after major shot here. So we're going to throw over this uh, Solius's speed up. We want him to get cheat death. We want him to be faster. We're just going to go ahead and do that. We're also going to go ahead and met, you know use Night El's um, damage up ability. We're going to go right after uh, right after major shot. If we slow this down a bit, we're going to see if we can get some big hits here. All right, those are some big hits from from. Uh, from Freezard, which really, really is nice. Another pretty decent size hit. Another decent size hit. Nighty L there, 34,000. And just right here on the basic to the tank, that's 13,000. Right. And you can see it was a pretty easy walkthrough. Um, really pretty easy walkthrough with that team. Freezard. Freezard is absolutely a tier one character. He's so viable in PvP. He is absolutely necessary. Um, he is absolutely necessary in the raid for all, really for all the phases that he can be. If he's good for a hard orc, he could be used in meat wheel if you wanted to, and he could be used in Arachar. And so he's a great character. Last, last thing I'm going to have to tell you about him is that you really want new players to the game. You're going to want to buy Freezard's pack. He's a great character. I think you unlock him at four stars. He is absolutely a monster in the beginning of the game. It's you're not going to waste anything by putting 
putting stats on him and that sort of thing. He is hard to farm. Um, he's not easy to get a hold of. If you go, if we go over to my main account where I have him at level 77 and maxed out gear 11 here, um, same kind of setup. I don't have his passive ability. If you watch nerd, this is bit, it's not really necessary. Um, it's not a, it, it's a great, it's a nice ability and it's probably good for PVP, but if you want to save your, uh, scrolls, you can not level that one up. I think that would be a safe bet. But as you can see, you're talking about order eight, six and clan seven, 12. I haven't even finished seven, 12 to be able to unlock him to seven. So he is, he's kind of a paywall character, but I would pay that first pack for him for sure, because he is absolutely amazing. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down in the comments below. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. So you don't miss a thing and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.